welcome back and hello if you're new my name is Megan um, today's video is just a simple tutorial uh, how I created this look so it's just a nice simple makeup look and if you'd like to find out how I got this then just keep watching so let's get started um, first of all I won with just a couple of skincare products um and she says number seven uh water surge gel Here, number seven just pop a bit of that on my lips as well look crazy <laughs> it's like we know when you used to do the foundation look oh my god there were the days i used to literally like only take out my foundation brush with me and about a gloss and whatever it was coming off with the foundation brush over my lips again and then the gloss like who doesn't do that it's crazy just going with some of this rose water then this is just the garnier one and i just let that all sit down um i just use the primark brow pomade in the shade dark brown and i'll also use the collection clear mascara this is amazing it's so so good it like glues your eyelashes and it, it's literally like say like 2.99 1.99 or 2.99 i can't actually remember my eyebrows really like they need done so badly but um i'm gonna hold out until tuesday night because I'm going to the hospital on Wednesday at 2 so I am just going to hold out until when Tuesday night and then wax them and tint them so that's why I'm, I don't really want to do them now but no they are terrible so I just like start at the end because I don't like like a wild lot of product at the start but like I said they really need tinted usually I would have them tinted so I wouldn't really put like any product on them I would just like fill on like all these sparse areas that needed like a bit of fill on but because I don't have them tinted now the past while I am just going to fill them on so and then I just start to bring the product in through the front of the hairs but like I said not a whole lot and then just do wee hair strokes upwards just like so and then i'll get a wee spoolie and just like brush up or down just to see if i have mist anywhere um i don't do a whole lot to my eyebrows so it really really doesn't take me long to do them but so that is the one brow See how quick and simple that was. I will go on again then just with a bit of that um clear mascara and just run through it. And I don't really like mine sitting up, so I'll just brush them down then. I don't mind them as much as the front, but like um I just don't sit a big mad bushy brow. I just don't sit that at all. Your brows, so I just use the Revolution Conceal and Define in C6 for under the brows and then just take a wee flat brush and just start to carve out the brows then sorry if i'm like looking down here but this is where my mirror is um so yeah but um oh my god does anybody else's like boyfriend has like turned on day such a gaming freak since this quarantine started or is it just mine because I cannot get into my own room. Literally, like, I'm having to video all my videos on here in this fair room. I don't mind as much doing my makeup one on here because this is like where I, my makeup station st is set up. But, like, every other video, and it just looks like, <clears throat> like so shit. But I physically cannot get into my own room because he has full force taken over. So, has anybody else's boyfriend turned on like a gaming freak or 
as it literally just mine. But what else can they do, I suppose, during the lockdown? But I hope that for like that very long. Hopefully. Not much longer anyway. I'm just pulling this right out. I pulled out here and in here just so that you can get enough of it for your eyeshadow. And then I am just gonna go on then, which is like a bigger brush. This is just from Real Techniques. And just sort of pat over it then, just to smooth it out. And smooth this into the skin as well. And take away any sort of harsh line that there was from carving out your brow. I'm back. That's both the uh, brows now carved and ready to do some eyeshadow. I'm just going to use these two wee angle uh, as eyeshadows and the Morphe um, 3502 palette. This palette is so beautiful. Like, look at them colours. I think they are just so, so pretty. So, I am going to use them, I think. And I'm over here drinking my non-alcoholic Kattenberg. <laughs> it's just like juice, but it actually is really good. Um, right, so... I'm going to go on with the 298 from Angla. I'm just going to go on with the darkest shade first and just sort of pat that all over the lid. I'm not like blending or anything yet I'm just going to plus it and build up the colour before I blend or before I do anything. I have no idea what I'm doing but sure we'll see the end result. Does anybody else think too? You look so like. See, we see whenever you are going and getting your makeup done or whatever as well, and whenever they start with your eyes, like you just look so crazy. Like once your eyes are on, you just open your your eyes and you're like, oh my god! But you just have to trust the process. So what you do, and then I'm just gonna blend that out. Then just doing small circular movements. And then sort of back and forth. Um, I am like I'm no crazy makeup artist. Like, like I said, like you know, I just do makeup because it's just a hobby and it's something that I like doing. Um, so don't judge anybody. <laughs> just you're having a bit of fun. But yeah, just gonna blend out until I've got it sort of roughly where I want it. How's everybody coping with the lockdown? Because I am ready to pull my hair out. I am literally like, oh my god, I hit it so bad, but it needs to be done. It has to keep everybody safe. I am now going to go on with the Inglot 2, 299. So 299, 299. Just pat that off. I'm just going to take that then just above where I done the darker colour. And just blend. I'm, I'm going on with this one blending straight away because like I don't really need to build up any colour with it. So I'm just blending that out straight away. Don't worry as well if you have like a big mess under here because you can just wipe that off in afterwards. But yeah. Just blend that in with the darker colour. And then afterwards as well you can go on then if you you know if you have blended away some of your colour. Um, and just sort of build it back up again if you're not too happy about it. I'm going to then take a bronzer and a bigger fluffy brush and then just go over that with your first colour. I actually wish this was me getting ready for a night out. Like I was so so excited to get a night out after I had uh the baby but when I'm the darker colour again there just to build that up because if you lose a bit of colour or whatever with your blending 
I don't think I'm gonna, I think I might just keep it like a dark smokes. I don't think I'm gonna um, do like a cut crease or like a glitter eye or anything. I think I might just keep it like all sort of dark. I'm not too sure. Sure if it's not nice to look up looking in after we're finished, I can easily on this wee brush here, this wee pencil brush, just gonna go on with a black on that. I don't really want to buy harsh line. So because I want a sort of like smoky looking rather than a big dark line. Do you know what I mean? Just gonna pull that up in a wee bit just into the darker colour. Just to blend it out a bit on there. I think that'll do. <laughs> Sub Zero Middle palette. And just take a sea bullet brush and I'll go on with the lifestyle and babe 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 and they say and just pop that on here in the inner corner I only got this palette recently this Mamacha one and oh my god I love it I think it's so so good like it actually is amazing I'm gonna go pop on a pair of lashes. Um, not even attempt to do them on camera, so because I'll be back. I have the other eye on, and I just popped on my eyelashes. So we're gonna go on with this now. So I'm just gonna give myself an wee spritz of this because why not? There's no harm. And I am gonna use foundation in the shade 220 Fat Me Maybelline. This is amazing. Um, it says matte and porous, but it's not actually matte. Like really really good and then the Huda Beauty and this is in the shade Julius De Lici if I'm saying that right honestly no idea how to pronounce it but I'll leave it down below if you are interested um so I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand I go on then with like this kind of brush it's a flat brush um more so just to like pint it on the face and then I'll blend it out then. But like because I love full coverage, um, I go on with this kind of brush here. Whereas if I was like doing it more natural, I would just go on with a beauty blender or just a normal brush. But I do like to just sort of paint it on with the same one first. I'll blend it. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I am going to go ahead and concealer. I use different concealers, I think, every time that I do my makeup. So, I'm going to take these two today. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define. Um, this one's in the shade C2. I do like my under eyes to be quite bright, so I do take a brighter um, concealer for that. And then I'll go on with this lighter one then here for the rest of my face. It probably won't even look that much lighter on the camera too. But um, I suppose everybody's different. Some people like obviously wouldn't put on as much makeup as me. But I actually think this one looks brighter than this one on the camera. But I swear to God it's not. I'm actually just a wee bit on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and above lap and this is how you should be looking nice and crazy but I like to leave that on just like a minute or so just to let it like sink under the face um so you'll have more coverage rather than just like putting it on and blending it out straight away I feel like that just takes away a lot of the product whereas you're, if you're going to leave it on your face for even a minute or two then it'll uh It'll like seep in. So I'm going to take my beauty blender again and just blend out that concealer. And then I'm just going to like take the other side then. 
so I'm not like rubbing it all onto my shadow if you know what I mean like it'll just be sort of like it taking the cleaner side then I'll just sort of blend it on nicely but then again you can if you do get it on like a load a lot of your eyeshadow you can just go on then with eyeshadow again to sort of blend it back right again over the concealer but once you have your find it your concealer we'll end it out when I check some cream contour I, this is my literally my favorite con cream contour it's it's the Primark in Shea Caramel but they don't have any left Primark's closed now at the minute but they don't have any left like in ages I kept going on and kept going on whereas I like it like a bit more kind of see what I mean like orangey kind of but I know there's nowhere literally to get any um apart I know that revolution uh stick isn't meant to be right it's shade f13 this is like very similar to this here one so i might order that on super drug online i'm just going to take this wee brush in this is just an, an wee real technique brush and just blend that all out then i don't So just leave it like that then and stuff like <laughs> But I know the foundation mops are making an appearance if you can see. Love it. Oh, I'm so raging that I kind of get this hair colour again in Primark. But I'm sure whenever they reopen after uh, all this going on, they'll have everything stocked. So I'm going to go on back in with the beauty blender and just blend that all together and to the gala in and do the concealer. So there's no harsh lines or anything. Just like so. So that's that blended. And then I'm just going to take a bit of Laura Lula Boyer. Laura Mercier, I can't even say her second name, Laura Mercier Powder, is that right? I don't know, don't judge, probably so wrong. And then I'm just going to take that same beauty blender, but the other side, and then just put that on where the areas that I have um, highlighted, so I like to bake on here too, I'm in here out of the creases of my nose because that's where I would get um, oily, so, uh, so I definitely have to uh, powder on there. We are then going to go on with some bronzer. I am just going to take that on this big fluffy brush, this is just a Morphe brush, and just pat that on where I Put the cream contour. I do like to go on with a lot of powders because, like I said, my fist would oil up like throughout the day. Like I would be so oil. Like if I was just to put on like foundation, concealer, and cream contour, and then just like a bit of powder. Oh my god! Like half an hour later, my fit, my makeup would be sliding off my fist with oil. So I definitely have to go on with a. Uh, like a good load of powder. Then got like one with the Inglot, and this is five one one as a contour. But oh my god, beware if any of you have issues, you'll know what I mean. It's so so pigmented. Like you honestly have to be so careful with it. I remember the first time I used it, like I was getting ready to go out, and I had no idea how pigmented it was. And I just like rubbed my brush around it and went in and holy shit, it was so, so, so bad. And there was no fixing it. Like there was off my cup and started again. I was so raging, but sure. Now you had to learn your lesson some way, but if you have it or you're gonna get it, beware. And it's literally only, I think it's nine point 
and that's a set oh, I can't even turn around because if it broke but like it's massive and it lasts you ages because like they said you only have to go on with a wee bit at a time like you can bolt like it's it's a good boldable powder um but definitely bold it like just don't go full force on or you'll regret it and i like the then take like my brown my uh powder and sort of just blend it on with my eye and then i'm gonna take this wee small brush and just rub away where I had that powder bacon because I don't like to leave it for too long I feel like the longer you leave it then it's like gonna go on the all the wee cracks you know underneath your eyes then I'm gonna take it on a wee bit and just sort of pull it down through here um just to outline the contour you don't have to do this like but I like to do this I won't leave this here but here long I'll literally put this on and then like take it off like a couple of seconds later it's just like to give you that more like I've got cheekbones but I don't really so I'm gonna go back in and just do what I done on top on bottom basically and just look up just gonna rub that on then rub <laughs> <laughs> and then take the 299 which what went on with them was like the sort of burnt kind of orange sort of one where's my brush for it i hit there it is i hit that like see whenever you're doing stuff and the, you have the brush and then like two sec oh that was a good quatch and then um it just goes massive and then you're like what the fuck I had it literally two seconds ago literally like can I find it for the life of it's fully gone it's as if it just got like feet and got up and walked away and said right see later it's oh it's so on and then you finally find it and it's like in the most obvious spot ever now that's even more annoying but just blend I am then gonna take um a brown liner I don't really like uh, black on my, my waterline. I just don't really think I said black on it. So I do just like to go on my uh, a brown because it's just that bit more subtle. Mascara? Where is my mascara? There's me. Oh, I leave it on for two seconds. Completely forgot about it. Oh, shit. There we go. Took it off now. Now, I'm going to go back in with a fist. I'm going to use take the Milani blusher, and this is in shade 2. And then just take it on this Be Bold brush. And I just put that on the cherries of my cheeks. I do love a good bit of blush, so. Blush just like brings your face back to life so it's it was like pure doll before now it's like pure bright again i never used to wear blush like i don't think anybody like really used to wear that much blush apart from like your your mommies and your grandmas and all that but like everybody now i don't think oh no i don't need, i i don't know i don't know any of my friends who don't use blush can i go wrong with a blush i'm telling you my highlighter like i said just the sub-zero palette I'm gonna take the shade Lifestyle with it on just this wee brush and I'm gonna spritz the brush first of all so it sticks nicely. And I've got flyaway hair to everywhere. Just sort of start here in the middle and then like I'll bold it up there and then bring it out more. Cause like I hit highlighter starts way out here I, I like it more here like in the center so whenever you do turn your fist or whatever you know you see it more um and whenever you are in the sunlight and stuff it does give you a more of a pop and I love 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 my highlighter so please don't judge like I wouldn't do this on everybody it's just myself because I just love it like see whenever I'm going out in the night out I would literally highlight my legs and everything 
like the collarbones, the shoulders, the legs, the chest, everywhere's getting highlighted and then I'm going on with Iconic Bronze Spray. But I know definitely I do, I'm a pure sucker for highlighter. Only whenever like I am doing such a heavy face of makeup, whereas if I was just like doing my makeup for pointing about like during the day, I wouldn't, uh, no, I wouldn't do this much, no chance. I would look fucking like a maniac. But then I am going to go on again, see the wee brush that I used for in here, just to do my nose. I don't do too much on my nose because I'm just not the biggest fan of it there. But yeah, see, I, I could literally sit here and highlight for days. Like just the fact of just sitting there and like just keep doing it and keep doing it. Like I could, I could do this all day long. So and it's the same way we are uh, bronzer as well. Like somebody li literally needs to come take the brush off me whenever it comes to bronzer and highlight. Because like this is probably as you see now like the third or fourth time that I'm going on with my bronzer. <laughs> but no, I do do it after my highlight definitely just to blend it more together. But. I am then going to just go back in with a wee bit more brow product in case, you know, any like translucent powder or your like foundation or anything did go on it. So I will just go on again then and just clean up the brows. I feel like you, you do have to after if you do start with your brows um, because obviously you're working around them and there might be some product or anything that fell on top of them. So, oh shit, I just made it like, this is just not working out. Made it like fuck up, but sure. Got to go on now, literally with my, my ride or die like, uh, combo. You will not see me with a different lip color on. <laughs> this is what I use like every day and I have stocked up. These are the Toffee lip liners from Primark. They are amazing, literally like amazing. I have stocked up on them because they just sell out so quickly. So how do I stock up? What well, Megan back on with the highlighter, sweet Jesus Megan. So how long is this video's gonna be ages? I am so sorry folks, but But if you don't have that toffee, you need to get it. It's unreal and it's not dry or anything. It just literally smooths on the lips. It's so, so nice. This is just another uh, Primark one. All my, like, and see this here, this one here, that's the luster one. That's the barely there. That's really good too, but I'm using this one today. This is a matte one. Um, oh shit. Just gonna put that on the inside lip. Just to give it that more of like an ombre look. Just going on lightly with them. I know it looks like a warm for your heart, but I'm really not, I swear. Also, a sucker for gloss. Sucker for everything, I think. But this one's run right. Oh, God. So, I think that is now the finished look. Didn't go too bad for not knowing what I was going to do. Um, then going to take the Garnier and again this is a different one and I added like a wee bit of this is just like loose pigment I added a bit of this here to this one here um look can you see it like sorting around the bottle I added a wee bit of this here one just so it's like a bit of like a shine again like a disco ball for after your makeup's done so and let yourself just try all of so this is now the finished look. Um, just a nice wee smoky eye, nothing too mad. Um, Cause like I said, I'm no crazy makeup artist. I don't know how to do all these big mad crazy looks. But yes, this is the finished look on myself. And I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you like watching the makeup tutorials and I can do some more on different kind of looks. But thank you everybody who watched and 
if you made it to this point don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will be back with more see you then bye